to speak out against and expose the sinister agenda of an anti-Israel group that has somehow found its way into the Jewish community. That group is J Street. It was founded by those on the radical fringe of the political left, its most prominent backer being none other than George Soros. According to the group's first press release, quote, J Street aims to challenge conventional political wisdom that in order to ensure the support of the American Jewish community and its allies, candidates must only take hawkish right-wing positions on Israel to prove their pro-Israel credentials, end quote. What are those hawkish right-wing positions which J Street so adamantly opposes? I will tell you, number one, that Israel has the right to defend herself against her enemies. Now, J Street will say I'm exaggerating its stance, that it indeed believes that Israel has the right to defend herself. Yet every time Israel does so, it is J Street that goes on the offensive. When Israel went into Gaza in December 2008, to root out Hamas after thousands of rockets and mortar shells have been fired on Israel from Gaza. J Street took out J Street took out a page from the enemy's playbook and called Israel's actions, quote, disproportionate. They said it was, quote, counterproductive. And even worse than that, even worse than that, the group released a statement saying that there was no difference between Israel's fighting in Gaza and Hamas suicide bombers. Following the Israeli military's entrance into Gaza, J Street stated, quote, neither Israelis nor Palestinians have a monopoly on right or wrong. While there is nothing right in raining rockets on Israeli families or dispatching suicide bombers, there is nothing right in punishing a million and a half already suffering Gazans for the actions of the extremists among them, end quote. J Street calls itself pro-Israel, but never, never, repeat never, have I heard a pro-Israel organization say that Israel's defense of its nation was no different than the terrorists who threatened the Jewish state. That is outrageous. The leader of the reform movement of Judaism, Rabbi Eric Yaffe, not really known as a shining symbol of the pro-Israel community, stated about J Street's moral equivalence, quote, these words are deeply distressing because they are morally deficient, profoundly out of touch with Jewish sentiment, and also appallingly naive, end quote. Last May, when the flotilla headed by the terrorist organization Insani Yardam Vakti, or IAH, attempted to break Israel's blockade of Gaza, instead of defending Israel, J Street said Israel's blockade, like they said about Israel's Gaza war, was, quote, counterproductive. Friends, I will tell you what's really counterproductive. What's counterproductive is a Jewish organization that calls itself pro-Israel when in reality it acts and speaks no different than Israel's enemies throughout the world. That's counterproductive. J Street says that its goal is a two-state solution. And make no mistake, many feel the same. However, the creation of a Palestinian state is an obsession for the group. So while the West Bank is controlled by one terrorist group, Fatah, and Gaza is controlled by another, Hamas. While there are no peacemakers in sight, that makes no difference to J Street. They need a Palestine, terrorist state or not. And they will pressure U.S. lawmakers to impose their will on Israel in order to see this obsession become reality. And they write letters to government officials demanding as such. J Street says that its goal is a two-state solution, but the group acts in a way that will get one of those states destroyed. J Street is nothing more than a road to Israel's destruction. Again, J Street is nothing more than a road to Israel's destruction, and no one, Jew or Gentile, should view the group any other way. Thank you.